Hey guys, I just thought I, um, I'd show you the deck that I ran at uh, the Supreme Victor's pre-release. Now, I'm sure most of you know how it works. You get six boosters, which uh, you probably saw my video earlier, that I, the ones that I got. And with all those cards, you have to make a deck uh, of 40 cards. And you the only cards that you're allowed to use that don't come with it are energies. Uh... Now, it's not the easiest. This was the second release I've been to. I think uh, I, my Rising Rivals deck was better. I never got around to making a video of that. But I thought I'd show you how this one was. Now, um, there are four rounds, and it's each round is a best of, best of three match type thing. Uh, I lost the first two. On the second round, I came close, but didn't quite cut it. Uh, but then the last two rounds, I easily won. Uh, but... It's really not very easy to make a deck with such limited cards, but I'll show you what I got. Um, I got I had two Growliths because I was running short on time. We had we had a cut off time to make to finish off the deck, and um, I already <clears throat> pardon me I already had uh, a few other fire types, and I just quickly put them in uh, because I mainly had fire energies in the deck. I didn't get the Arcanine to evolve it, and they weren't the greatest, but one of, they did come in handy against uh, a Morwile, which is a pretty good card in the new set. It's similar to Turtwig GL from Rising Rivals. Uh, yeah, it's that it was a bit of annoying to take down, but I actually beat one with a Growlithe. Um, some cards, some single cards. Licky Licky C, I got a reverse hollow of that. That is, it's actually a pretty good card. Like, it's, um, it, I didn't really think it would be great, because I, I, in my mind, I don't like Licky Licky, uh, so I just assumed, which is wrong, that the card would just be shit. It's actually a pretty good card. It's a decent staller. I got it out, um, first a few times, and it did help. Uh, its first attack is pretty decent, and its second attack, uh, it does damage and you draw until you have six cards as well, which really does come in handy. Manetric G, uh, is actually the only electric card I have in this deck, um, but the energies I chose to run were fire and electric, um, the electric was only just so that I could use Manetric G, Thunderfang, and this did come in handy, uh, there were a few Chatot's being used, which is another decent card in this set, uh, and I, there were a few Weasels and Floatzels that died from it as well, I think. Uh, Charizard G, I was regretting putting in. I didn't get the level X of it, uh, a few people did, um, even if I did already, I had one, the odds of getting it out weren't that great. It, um, it came in handy, again, um, the person who I who had the more while when I was playing, um, he had two, and this one actually killed one of them, and it also killed a Metagross, which was, uh, pretty annoying, but, uh, it's not a bad card, it takes a bit to power up, if you had the proper SP cards, like, uh, life gain, or whatever, whatever it would probably be better, uh, last one, Dragonite FB, I regret putting this in, it takes too long to power up. Its retreat cost is three. It's got decent attack, but it's like I can't really see it very well. Giant tail. You flip a coin if tail's attack does nothing. So that's it. If you're unlucky, it's just a waste of a turn. Um, my first evolution line was a Dodo Dodrio. Uh, it was hard getting out. I only had one Dodo. And I was tempted to use another Dodo that someone else gave me, but the rules are you have to use the cards you get, so... The Dodrio is pretty good. It's got its Poker Power Echo Draw, lets you draw a card each turn before you attack. And 50 damage for a Drill Peck isn't bad. It has... the energy cost is a little high, but... It, it can fit into most decks, since it's a colorless type. Uh, another card that Tristan run, Altarius C. Then they're not evolutions, but um, they're not bad either. It, the first first attack, sing twenty damage, puts them to sleep right away. 
their second attack, Sonic Wing, does 30 damage, it's not affected by resistance. I got them a few times uh, out first, and it, it did help, but because it takes two turns to power up, um, it can be a bit of an, a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, I also got, um, I had two Magmars and the new Magmortar, which, and the new Magmortar I didn't think was good. Um, when I first pulled it, I didn't really take much note, but it's not bad. It's got some decent attacks, and it's poker power. When you evolve the Magmortar, uh, you, as if any Pokemon is now burnt and paralyzed, uh, sorry, burnt and confused, and that came in handy. I killed a few, uh, Pokemon using that poker power, um, and that did help. Now, the last one, which was probably the best one in the deck, which I really liked using, Garchomp C, and I actually got the level X for it as well, Garchomp C level X, and that's, uh, it's a very handy card, I got it, I got it a couple times, the matches I won, um, I won, oh, a few matches, like, in the rounds with Garchomp C, uh, and then a couple with level X as well, it's, he it can take a bit to power up, um, but, it's Poker Power Healing Breath. Uh, once during your turn before you attack, you may put Garchomp C level X from your hand onto active Garchomp C. Remove all damage counters from each of your SP Pokemon. And that, that helped a few times. Uh, Licky Licky and Altaria and Garchomp were all badly damaged. And um, that healed them up pretty good. Uh, I, my last pre-release, I only got four trainers and stadiums and no different this time. I chucked all the ones I got in. Uh, Palmer's Contribution, uh, Champion's Room Stadium, which is just makes the retreat cost of all SP Pokemon, uh, both yours and your opponent's, one colorless less. Versus Seeker uh, lets you put a supporter back from your discard pile into the into your hand. Yeah, into your hand. Knight Teleporter, uh, flip a coin if heads. Put all cards in your hand on top of your deck. Then search your deck for any one card and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. That didn't actually come in handy for me. Um, I, like I said earlier with the Growlers, I got desperate. I needed to put something in. Uh, and then there are a shitload of energies here. Um, there's 19 energies altogether. There's like 6 electric energies and the rest of fire. It, um, overall, it wasn't the worst deck. There were others better, which is probably why I didn't win all my matches. Um... But yeah, there were worse ones too. Uh, I did get some other cards from from it. I pulled a uh, Hollow Yan Mega, and what else did I get? Hmm. I got a, a few more level X's afterwards as well. The way it works, as soon as the whole pre-release is over, everyone who, who stayed to the end gets two extra booster packs, and in one of the booster packs, uh, I pulled an Electivire FB, and then I bought two more booster packs, and uh, luckily, I was must be very lucky today, I pulled a Staraptor FB level X, and I actually got another Electivire FB level X. So, it's obvious that the level X ratio in the new sets is higher than the old sets, like, like Rising Rivals, and... Legends Awaken and especially like Mysterious Treasures, there's like one in every booster box. But uh, a few people have been telling me now that uh, it seems though the Rising Rivals, uh, sorry, the Supreme Victors level X is the, um, there's about three to four in a box, which is cool, but at the same time kind of makes the whole, oh my god, I got a level X type thrill not as good as like what it used to be especially if, if you get it from a set that has hardly any like like secret what was it was it yeah mysterious treasures um with that one there yeah oh sorry that's that that, that secret one does got all the lexus from uh so yeah uh overall i enjoyed myself i had fun we got uh card sleeves garchomp ones uh last one was rotom uh, the next one will probably be Arceus, or Arceus, for Advent of Arceus. Uh, overall, I'm happy with what I got. Um, I got some decent cards, and, um, I got to meet a, uh, 
lovely bunch of people. Uh, everyone's really friendly. Uh, I encourage everyone to join their local Pokemon League if you have one in your area. Because it's just fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not much else to talk about. I'm probably rambling on a bit now. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you.